Hi, today I have another population genetic problem for you. If 9% of an African population is born with severe form of sickle cell anemia that is small s, small s, what percentage of the population will be more resistant to malaria because they are heterozygous, capital S, small s, for the sickle cell gene? And in order to solve this problem, we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula that give us frequency of the genotypes, that is f equal to p squared plus 2pq plus q squared, that equals to 1, and p plus q equal to 1 also, and 1 equal to 100%. And in this formula, p squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype that is capital S, capital S, and middle part of the formula stands for the heterozygous genotype that is capital S, small s, and q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype that is small s, small s. And p uh, here stands for the all alleles uh, that is capital S, and q stands for the all alleles in this gene pool that is small s. And as you see here, um, in this formula, these three genotypes are made with just two types of alleles, that is capital S and small s. So, uh, if it is fair that all these uh, genotypes equal to 1, so uh, all alleles s, that is here, capital S, and all alleles that is small s, when we add them up, uh, would equal to 1 also. And from our formula, or from our uh, problem, we know that 9% uh, of the African population is born with severe form of the sickle cell anemia, that is small s, small s. So we know that um, affected with this disease represent 9% of the whole population. So we have to use this ratio to find the frequency uh, on the scale of 1. So if we given uh, our problem uh, in our problem 9% and we have to find it on the scale of 1, we have to divide 9 by uh, 100. And the frequency here of the Q squared or homozygous recessive would be 0 0.09. So we know that Q squared equals to 0 0.09. And now we can find Q. We just have to take square root of 0 0.09. 0 0.09. And the answer would be 0 0.3. This is a frequency of the Q allele or small c. And as you see from this formula here, P plus Q equal to 1. If we know Q, we can find P. We just have to re rearrange this formula. And P would equal to 1 minus Q. So, P would equal 1 minus 0 0.3. So, P would equal to 0 0.7. So, now we know um, P, we know Q, we know Q squared, and now we can calculate this middle part of the formula and find our answer. So, uh, in order to find heterozygous genotype, that is capital S, small s, we have to multiply 2 by uh, P, that is 0 0.7, and multiply by Q, that is 0 0.3 and this is going to be P and this is going to be Q so the answer would be 0 0.42 and this is going to be frequency of the heterozygous 0 0.42 and we also can uh, check out uh, our answer just solving for the homozygous um, dominant, that is p squared here, 
we just we know p here is a p we just have to as you see uh, multiply it by itself or square it so p squared or capital S capital S genotype homozy uh, homozygous dominant would equal to 0 0.7 squared or multiplied by itself so this the answer would be 0 0.49 and if we put it here 0 0.49 and add all these three frequencies they would equal to 1 so our answer that is here for the uh, heterozygous would be correct but in our problem we are asked uh, to give answer as a percentage and we have to convert in the percentage form once again using this ratio so we have to multiply our answer by 100 and we would know our answer as a percentage so this is going to be 42 percent or we just uh, can move uh, two decimal places this uh, point to the two decimal places to the to the right side and we are going to get the same number so we also can uh, express our uh, answer as a percentage so here would be 42 percent if we move this uh, comma two decimal places to the right we are going to get um, 49 percent here and here we are going to get um, 9 percent so when we uh, add all these numbers we are going to get 100 percent just like uh, in our ratio here so one would equal to 100 percent uh, thank you for your attention that's all for today. Please thumbs up if you like my explanation. Uh, now I hope uh, it would be much easier for you to solve such problems if you find it on the exam. Please write comments. That's all for today. Goodbye.